so we are going to have the best of two worlds, musical-wise, on this trip. And then also later on, we are not getting any traditional entertainment this half of the trip. On our way back again, we'll get a traditional troupe, a cultural troupe, coming over from the other boat. And it, especially I'd like to inform you that there will be water as well to drink, and the water has been passed by the operators of churns and trade. So it's uh, safe, <laughs> depending on how you look at the word pass. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we will be... <laughs>
Ministry of Labor State thank you all for accepting to participate in this cruise, which is to mark the 20th anniversary or one of the programs planned to mark the 20th anniversary of the reception of Lagos State. I must first of all pay tribute to my military governor for his courage and encouragement for his initiative and for his forthrightness in thinking that tourism could be one of the most important industries that should be developed not only in Lagos State but in Nigeria as a whole. For this reason, he has established the Ministry of Home Affairs and Tourism and since the inception of the ministry, he has given all what it requires to support the ministry and to support the objective of the ministry. I want to thank and I want you all to assist me in thanking the military government. I have always people, or uh, uh, those who live in labor, we have got nothing more to offer, more than tourism. And I believe that this is an industry of the future. It is therefore my hope that everybody will rally around the governor, I mean the government, to ensure that tourism is well developed in the state. You are likely to have some discomfort in this cruise because we are making use of perhaps a ferry boat. But we are proud that we have to start from this humble beginning. And I want to assure you that we are doing our best to ensure that by this time of next year, we'll be able to cruise in a more comfortable uh, boat. I want to, as I said, my speech is all called, it's not a special one. I want to sort of inform you or give some information about our journey. We are cruising on the lagoon, which surrounds Lagos and stretches to Badagri, it goes further. And along the lagoon, you have the most beautiful beaches you can ever imagine on the coast of West Africa. These are lying waste and waiting for development of tourism. Children will take note of the mangrove forest, which they have always read about in geography. And foreigners too, who, have got, who haven't got the opportunity of seeing this type of vegetation, we'll also notice uh, the mangrove forest. Perhaps it may interest all of you to note that the longest cruise so far made in the world, or the longest boat race so far made in the world, was made in Nigeria. And this is in the uh, Guinness Book of Records. This started from Lagos to Badagri. And so far there has not been any record to beat that. It is, the pro it is one of the programs of this administration to revive this type of boat raising to an international level. I think at this juncture, uh, I should allow you to enjoy your trip and I wish you a very uh, successful trip. Thank you very much.
toast, the master of ceremony is ensuring that um, we have some drinks in our hands. We want to ensure that we have some drinks in our hands. Do you think the governor has got a drink? The the governor, Mike. governor, do you think you love the drink? So. Yes, sir. The governor of Lagos State, Navy Captain Ohai, Mike Aibe, Executive Council, Distinguished Ships, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen. I think the only qualification that I have to propose the toast of the Lagos State Government is that although I'm not a Lagosian, I am very closely associated with the Lagos State, especially in the field of tourism. And I would like first to thank the organizers for giving me the honor to propose the toast. We've all been following the 20th anniversary of the legal state with keen attention and we have been rejoicing with the legal state government and people of legal state. I believe that this cruise to Badagri is in line with what the Honorable Commissioner has said earlier that Lagos State is the first state in the Federation to have a full-fledged Ministry of Tourism. And I think we should give a round of applause to that. Thank you very much. It's not going to make this the first and the last. This is the taste of the pudding. The taste of many things to come. I would like to see many more of these cruises, not only uh, boats of this kind, but also uh, what in the tourism palace we call luxury boats, which are probably air conditioned, and um, you may have to pay a little bit more, but the comfort is there. The idea is that Lagos has more water than land and they are trying to take advantage of it. I think you will agree that the military governor is a very courageous man as echoed by the state commission. He should be congratulated. I feel that this trip also has brought together under one roof a lot of people and cross-section of those people that contribute in one way or the other to the development of Lagos State, other present day on the past. I have seen past commissioners. I saw Mr. Rashid Badamosi dressing like a, a naval captain. And I see quite a number of former commissioners and permanent secretaries as well as different races and, and uh, what of life. If we were to go by road, I don't think we would have had the opportunity of interaction such as this. This is the reason why I say that the Lagos State Government has taken full advantage of the nat natural endowment uh, which God has given them. And this 20th anniversary is the right occasion to launch such uh, a, a cruise service as this. I would like, with due respect 